Hey guys, this is T from Driftwood Gaming, and I am going to show you how to make a terrain block. It's super easy, and I think you're going to love it. So this is Bakin, and this is where we're going to be making our terrain block for. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the help file. And you can see the specifications of various assets if you click on this handy little link right here. And in the various assets, go ahead and click terrains. And this is where it explains the nuances of making a terrain block. I'm not going to go over this at all right now. I'm just showing you where it is. Instead, we're going to make a terrain block together. And I'll show you how incredibly simple it is. I want to use 128 by 128 resolution. So I'm going to start a new file in my image editor, which I use Clip Studio, but you can use pretty much anything you want. If I want to make a 128 by 128 resolution, I need a width of 128, and I need a height that's three times that. So 128 times three is 384. Okay, and to make things easier, I'm going to make a grid, and then turn that grid into 128. There we go. And it's just incredibly simple. I'm going to make a dirt and grass block to illustrate how it works. Let's pick a uh, brown. Let's pick brown first. Yeah, we'll make the base and just like, uh, yeah, that's brown, right? Hey, there we go. And we're going to get a big brush and we're just going to like paint the whole thing brown. There we go. And now I'm going to get some green for the grass and get a smaller brush. And so the top tile is going to be all green because that's the grass spot. And if you want to make it look pretty, this is where you're going to do it. And then you just want like the grass going over the edge a little bit because that's what grass does, right? So that's it. I bet you're like, wow, really? That's that's how easy it is? But yeah, that's actually how easy it is. I'm going to show you how to put it in to Bakin now. So we're going to save it. So let's just save the PNG into your Bakin folder, custom assets. Bam! See, I already made one. We're going to call this ground. I'm actually going to overwrite it because it's just for testing, you know? You know? And now we go back to Bakin. And so in the resources tab, I'm going to click terrains, add, grab my ground file that I just made. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there it is. It's pretty simple. I'll see if I can find it over here. Terrains, uncategorized. And here's my little ground tile that I just made. Isn't it beautiful? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. We're going to be making more Bakin tutorials coming up. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.